Hey, what is up, Patreon? This is Dr. Quads, and today I'm gonna teach you how I prepare my carbon fiber frames and what to do when you get them from Blender STL all the way to giving it to the person who's going to cut it with a CNC router. Now, this may be a specific problem for people like me who use Blender to make their carbon fiber frames, but it also could be that if you have something that you got offline and you wanna make it into a carbon fiber version, you're gonna run into some issues because you can't give a three-dimensional STL to most of the manufacturers that I've I've ever worked with, they need a two-dimensional DXF file. So how do you do that? Well, here's what you do. You're gonna go ahead and export this as a STL with Blender. Okay, I've already done that. And then you download a program called FreeCAD. And as the name suggests, it's free. So hooray, I don't like the UI. It's pretty terrible, but hey, it's free. So I shouldn't complain too much, right? Then you're gonna drag your STL into FreeCAD. And as you can see here, it's three-dimensional. And well, that's no good. Let's go ahead and make it simpler. Then you're gonna go up to the menu here and select part. And right here, you're gonna see create primitives. Click on that and make your plane as big as the model itself. I usually just add two zeros, thousand, create. Close that there, click on this and there we go. So then you're gonna right click, transform on the plane and you're going to move it to where it completely covers your model. I also like to move it down a little bit here so that it is right in the middle, or at least somewhere in the middle. It doesn't exactly matter, but it's nice. Click OK. Select both of these. Go up here to Mesh Design. Go at the top where it says Meshes, Cutting, Create Section from Mesh and Plane. You can press Spacebar, and that will hide your old selection. Click on Section at the top. Scroll down, Shift Click. There you go. Now you have the whole thing selected. Go back to Part Design. Sorry, not Part Design. Go back to part, I always get those mixed up. Go back to part, and at the top here, you're gonna see union. Click on that, and then click okay. Go back to model here up at the top. And right there you have a fusion. And this is what you need to give the manufacturer so that he can cut this out of a carbon fiber sheet with a CNC router. Click on file, export, and export it as a Autodesk DXF2D. If you don't live in China and you don't have quick access to all these manufacturing services, I would say don't worry. One, I'm sure there's an equivalent service that you can get access to online that might be a little bit pricey, but remember, you're not gonna be printing millions of these. You know, paying an extra 10 bucks per frame is not the end of the world, especially since the magic of DIY FPV is that whatever your brain can come up with, you can make it. The second thing is, is that there's a lot of people out there who make a desktop CNC router DIY version that you can cut carbon fiber with. And these people are very skilled and they're having a lot of fun doing what they do, but they're not necessarily professional at it. So they might be more inclined to cut you something for really cheap because they just like the opportunity to use their new DIY CNC router. Obviously results may vary depending on who you get it from, but if you're looking to save every little buck possible, I would say hunt out there for a person who's made their own DIY CNC router and see if they're willing to cut you something really cheap. Guys, I really appreciate all the Patreon for supporting me through this time. I hope that I can provide more value to you in the future. This is Dr. Quads, and I'll catch you next time.